today's mobility training tip, I will be covering some more neck isometrics that you can use to create a stable structure from the ground, not the ground up, the top all the way down to the ground. If we have a stable head and we're positioning our head in the correct fashion, then a lot of the other stuff in our body might find a way to work its way out because I think many people are very unaware of their head positioning and it's really one thing I've gotten, gotten into through wrestling is because you, when you're going in and you're just like shooting into someone's body and changing levels, like you need to be really aware of your, where your head is because if you don't, a good chance that you could uh, get concussed or someone could break your posture and hurt your neck. So head positioning is key in my uh, line of grappling, but also it's kind of opened my eyes to what's going on in the world, how people hold their necks, okay? So basic neck isometric. And I got into this kind of, I mean, obviously this has been out there, but I had a little neck injury earlier in the year, March, April, May-ish, to where it just was really tight. And so I was like, well, not only tight, but I just felt like something in there just went right. So I was like, well, I just need to make this stable and then do my mobility work. Again, the yang and the yin. So start out, you want eyes to be directly forward, chin tuck, creating a long neck, like our last video where we laid flat on the ground. You take your hand, go to the back, one third of your head here, palm, pushing in your head and you're also pushing your head back in your hand. Try to get your shoulders level, tuck down and away from the ear. I like doing that about eight to ten seconds, breathing calmly and moving to the side of my head. Push in. And you should feel this engaging between your shoulder blades, your rhomboid should fire. Then I go to the front. Then I work my way back around the other side. You know, when you do that, you should feel mainly that side activate. Now we go to this side, and you'll start to feel your left side activate. But again, have that back and forth of being symmetrical with your alignment, with your jaw positioning. There's a lot going on here. Side of your head. Relax breath. Again, we're about eight to 10 seconds each spot. And we're in the back now. Chin tucked. Driving, keeping the neck long. And notice, like, I'm not looking at the camera. Eyes, when you're doing this, have to be on a fixed spot. That's what anchors you and grounds you into being symmetrical. You guys, those neck isometrics go a long way, especially early in, the, early in the day if you have sinus issues, which I have, especially living in the Kentuckiana Valley. We have bad allergies in this area. Early in the day, sometimes you can feel a little off from your sinuses from being asleep and not being able to do the work to kind of get yourself situated. So I find early in the day doing core stability, followed by some neck isometrics, and then some balancing exercises actually go a really long way in helping my sinuses. Now, like, okay, really, how does that go into play? Well, one, your sinus cavities, if one side is uh, more, more pressure, then your body's going to be off, off balance. Okay, so if you do core stability, your core's anchored. Okay, that's one. Then two, you do your neck isometrics, your head's stable. Okay, so you're not going to be as shifty. Then if you do a balancing exercise where you're on one foot at a time, you're integrating that entire core stability into being solid and then being able to anchor through one leg. If you can anchor through one leg, you have a proper gait. To walk properly in the world, you need to be able to put equal weight on one foot at a time. It's not a, you know, it's like literally walking involves balancing one leg or walking correctly. So doing exercises like this, even if you don't have a neck issue, can really go a long way in helping you to just begin to understand the anatomy and how all this really works. Because I think the throat, the neck, the, just this upper plane that we're working with here, the upper cervicals, or areas of the body, and the musculature that goes into the head is something people don't really uh, think about. But you, know, you can make a lot of different facial expressions with your face. Okay, so there's a lot going on there. There's a lot to learn how to control. And I think we can learn to control that area of our body too, think about how much more control we can have as a whole. So guys, hope you can take that and use it. Connect below, we'll get the free ebook as always. I'd love the support, like, comment, subscribe, and reach out to me if you find anything that uh, you would like to learn more about, or if you have something nagging, uh, it gives me inspiration to make some more videos. So I would really appreciate it. Thanks guys.